fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Have you ever had that feeling where you just need to get out, get your heart racing, your muscles tensed and your body wanting more? Well people, that's adrenaline. It's addictive, it can be deadly. Why then do we seek it? And what gives us that drive to find such thrill in the things that should scare us to death? First off, let's look at something we can all do. Feel like we're plunging to our death. On a roller coaster, of course. These machines are purpose-built to give people that kick of adrenaline, whirling people around corkscrews, twisting around corners at high speed, and even chucking them down deep, dark holes. People are subject to G-forces of up to 4.7G. That's more than the space shuttle when it's taking off, or a World War I aeroplane when it's twisting and turning through the air. We asked Chris Milton, an employee at Alton Towers, why he thought people came to the theme park. So the resort to get the adrenaline rush of riding the rides um, is something that's not in their usual day-to-day -day because it's something exciting, it speeds up their heart rate, gives them an adrenaline rush, um, enjoy their time. Um, I think when the people come off, they're all hyped up, more excited and uh, ready to go on the next ride. To find out more about the medical side of how adrenaline works, we went to the North Staffordshire Hospital. Essentially, adrenaline is released when you have a fight or flight response, so when something dangerous or something exciting happens changes your physiology of your body so that you're more prepared to get away from dangerous situations? Uh, well the effects are basically it uh, can increase your blood pressure, it uh, causes uh, the blood to redistribute from sort of your arms so you will get excited, your hands will go cold, that keeps all the blood centrally so that you maintain the flow of blood to your heart and to your brain. I wait for the NHS, I'm currently on the recovery wards, so I've come across a lot of adrenaline based injuries due to car crashes, motorbike accidents, skateboarding and even people trying free running. Um, there's other things released as well as the adrenaline into the body with you know, exciting or frightening experiences. I think the main reason why people do it is because they crave that, that rush, that fix. I think because there probably is a reason related to the chemicals that are released, so it is actually a self-fulfilling thing, so they feel good about it. Those normal day-to-day -day activities just become mundane. You see it with people who are like um, fighter pilots and things, if you talk to them. Now from roller coasters to the second most popular adrenaline-inducing sport, paintball. More specifically, tournament paintball. The rules for the body are different here. These are athletes in the truest sense of the word, doing what they do for the pure love of the sport. Why do they do it? Pure and simple, that adrenaline not normally felt outside a war zone. Imagine getting hit by a hard ball full of paint, going nearly 200 miles per hour, multiple times at a range of under a meter. Sounds brutal, doesn't it? The thing is, you can barely feel it. The body systems react to these hormones within seconds, giving the person a nearly instant physical boost. Strength and speed both increased, 
while the body's ability to feel pain decreases. The amount of adrenaline pumping through your body is so high that things that should hurt you don't. This hormonal surge is often referred to as an adrenaline rush. Alex Frage, one of the world's best paintball players, was recently asked why he played paintball. He replied, It's either the thrill of the hunt, or being hunted, when playing in the woods, or the pure 100% adrenaline of the speedball field, where the slowest move is still faster than the most intense move on a soft field. That's why you're adrenaline. This fight response is an evolutionary adaptation that allows the body to react to danger quickly. Dilated air passages, for example, allow the body to get more oxygen to the lungs quickly, increasing physical performance for short bursts of time. Now from trusting in your body to trusting in engineering, this is professional racing. raising the hairs on their body and making them sweat. Their bodies are subject to nearly six times their own body weight in some times, but once they get through, the endorphins kick in, giving them the drive to continue doing it again and again. In the moments of calm though, the drivers are still pumping adrenaline and endorphins around their body. They want more. Oh, the team I've got behind me is, uh, is a fantastic team. They're a really good bunch of guys. They're not just my mechanics and crew, they're my mates. I use, I use my the indoor climbing walls for practicing, um, practicing sort of my moves, working on my footwork, and then put it into play when I go outside climbing, different locations that we have, because you you haven't got the you haven't got your roots set, so like your colours, your grades, you've you've got to you're thinking about it, you've got to think about it a lot more, and so you've got to. It's not a case of just going up and looking, you know where you're going, you've got to sit down, work out how you're going to do it, where you, where you want to start, where you want to finish. So I enjoy the freedom, um, you, complete, you get such a buzz when you've completed, you look at something you thought I'm never going to be able to do it, and you sit down, you work at it and work at it, and yet when you've eventually done it, it's, it's just a great feeling. the risk that if anything went wrong, nobody was coming after us. And no one would be able to get there, even if they wanted to, because they just were not climbing at that level. Keep pushing, don't give up. Push it, push it, push it. A 
Adrenaline is just one of those things, a thing that we see. It's addictive. It makes mind-numbing changes to our body and mind. And it can be bad when we do not have too much of it. But also, just too fun. We're all adrenaline junkies waiting to get that hit, whether we like it or not. Holy smokes.